Hey guys, it's John, and today we're playing the preview build of an upcoming horror game called Cursed Roots. Wait, I just realized I didn't do a funny intro for this video. Well, I've been doing one for the past couple videos, people are probably expecting it. Well, what if I can't think of a funny intro for this video? Cursed Roots? What am I supposed to do with that? Go outside, stay next to a tree? Oh, these roots sure look cursed just like my YouTube career. These jokes are gonna get old fast. What if I can't think of one? I'm gonna run out of ideas. What am I supposed to do? Oh, right. Uh, it's a point and click horror game and it looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and check it out. Cursed Roots. It's free, it's on itch.io. Download link is in the description. Aunt Hillary. Okay. Hello? Do I click on... It all started with that phone call. It was my aunt, whom I hadn't spoken to in a long time. She called bearing bad news about my uncle. He had passed away. She sounded odd. I thought perhaps it was because she was crying. At the time, I could never have imagined the real reason why. However, I was about to find out. <laughs> Exciting. Okay, so Uncle passed away. Aunt is calling us. She sounds strange. My aunt and uncle have always been like the father and mother that I never had. They took me in and treated me like a son after the mysterious disappearance of my parents. Fifteen years ago, I had moved from their home to the USA to seek my fortune there. <laughs> was this the 1800s? And due to the huge distance between us, we had seldom seen each other. It was a long journey, but I decided, uh, all this time I've been busy chasing my fortunes and I really uh, never had time to visit. Something like that. At first, the text moves too slow, then it moves too fast. I wanted to read up. I took the first plane back home, and after a long flight, I at last stepped back onto home soil. It felt bizarre being back after such a long time. Their home is on the outskirts of Cork Hill, so I took a taxi. Cork Hill. Sounds like a terrible place to live. The roads narrowed as I neared the house, but that wasn't all. I sensed that something was wrong. Okay. Spider sense was tingling, huh? The very sight of the house gave me shivers. I almost didn't recognize it. So much had changed since I left. Stepping out of the car, a chill went down my spine. I felt that something had truly gone wrong inside the house. However, nothing could have prepared me for the horrors I was about to face. Dun dun dun. And is that our transition to the game? I think it is. All right. Pretty cool for a free game so far. The door is unlocked. Auntie should really be more careful. This trip was exhausting. I forgot how far their house was from the town. What happened to the house? This place is in ruins. I should look for Auntie. I saw the lights were on in the dining room. Okay. This door is boarded shut. I better go and meet Auntie first. I think she's in the dining room to the right. Oh, okay, so I can't explore yet? Hello! Auntie, how are you? I came as quickly as I could. I still can't believe that Uncle's gone. My dear, you've come. What's happened is a tragedy, but I'm so glad to see you in these challenging times. But please, first, take a seat and have a cup of tea. You must be exhausted from your journey. Thank you, Auntie. A cup of tea would be lovely. Okay. Something's not right. I feel dizzy. Would I get drugged? I feel like, like, like what? Like you're being drugged? What other feeling could you possibly be experiencing right now? My head hurts. What just happened? Where am I? This looks like Auntie's bedroom. I must have fallen asleep, but how did I get here? I'd better take a look around. 
Oh, can I play the game now? Thanks. Bed. This bed has definitely seen better days. Anybody around now who saw my Dark Seed playthrough? Mike Dawson? I can see what's holding the drawer. Maybe I can push it in with something. I can push it with something thin enough. Okay. It's a file folder. Could it be my uncle's? Yet yeah, most of the pages have been torn out. What could have happened to it? The chest won't open. Just some old clothes in here. An old mirror. It's dark now. I must have been asleep for a few hours. Okay, let's check out the file. Uh, most of the pages in the journal have been torn. One of the few remaining pages seems of interest. 19th of March, 2015. I fear that my attempt to seal the portal has made the situation worse. What? But there's no turning back now. These entities now have an easy way to enter the human realm. And I've seen her already able to take physical form, even if only for a short time. Natural light and fire seem to weaken them somewhat, but my last candle's running out, and it's only 3 a.m. I fear I won't. The rest of the page has been torn. Oh, don't... Don't make phone calls at 3 a.m. That was Uncle's handwriting. He must have been delirious during his final days. I better look for Auntie. She might be able to explain what this is all about. Yeah, sure. Arr, my head! What's wrong with your head? That sound, it felt like my head was about to explode. Well, what was it? What sound? Decorative bowl, it's empty. Let's see what we have here. A bottle of glue, you never know when you will need it. That's true. <laughs> let's, uh, let's walk around a little bit. Wooden box, it won't open. There's nothing in the drawers. Door's locked. It's locked. Okay. Let's uh, go downstairs, I guess. Can I pick this up, please? Not again. Um, Auntie, is that you? Oh! There's somebody in the background. Damn, the light's in this house. What the hell was that? My mind must be playing tricks on me. I don't know. Sorry, I didn't mean to go up the stairs. Go back down, please. Can I please pick up this? Matchbox. There's only one match left in it. I remember this painting. They were so happy then. I wish I could go back in time. Wooden boards are blocking the door. Somebody really wanted to keep people out. Or in. An old fireplace has been used in a while. Okay, so what's over here to the, in the living room? Hang on. Okay, we got lots of stuff in here. There's a withered plant in the vase. A label beside it reads, Tibetan Vampiric Masquerade. Oh, Mandrake. I was thinking about Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I didn't know such a plant existed. Metal bars are installed in front of the window. When did they become so paranoid? Huh, it's not like they were trying to keep something out then. Lots of books about all kinds of subjects are in the bookcase. Uncle John really loved reading. Really? Uncle John loved reading, huh? Something is holding the door, but I don't see any keyholes. Huh, that's interesting. It's an old newspaper from a couple of years ago. I put it in my file folder. Missing person. Parents distraught over daughter disappearance. Police are actively searching for Yolanda, who was reported missing two days ago by her parents. She was last seen in Cork Hill Central Park with the family dog. She would never have run away. I'm sure something dreadful has happened to her, her dad was reported as saying in response to questioning. The police have so far not uncovered any evidence to suggest that the girl in question was abducted. Five other cases of a similar nature have been reported to the police in the last 12 months. Okay. Huh. An old radio. I haven't seen one of these in a while. My voice cracked just now. Okay, so that was... Oh, whoa, oh, what's this? Decorative plate. I think it's made of porcelain. A set of fireplace tools. This is Grandpa's clock. Really, it was my grandfather's. Grandfather's clock, ha. Huh? The clock has stopped. I think it's broken. What time is it, though? What time is it? 10... 10, 10? There's a note behind the cushion of the chair. What we got here? 
Um, let's see. It seems to be some sort of list, and the handwriting reminds me of Uncle's. Could it have some other hidden meaning? After dusk and before dawn, painter of portrait of Count Amadeus III of Corkhill, his life history, R1B4. So that's instructions for a puzzle that I don't think we've uncovered yet. Nothing interesting in the cupboard. Really? This is Auntie's piano. I remember when she was very fond of it and would never let me play it. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything here. There's nothing below the cushion except for dirt and breadcrumbs. Turn around. Because this is the front door. Can we leave? I just reach. Why should I leave already? Okay. Portrait of Count Amadeus III of Corkhill. Oil on canvas, 1784 by Philip Van Dam. Okay. So I guess 1784 is what's important there? It's an old dirty mirror. That's my luggage. I'm too tired now. I'll unpack later. Oh, okay. I guess we'll just we'll just do it later then. A metal coat hanger seems very sturdy. Aunt Hillary, what happened? She's not breathing. I'm calling an ambulance. Oh crap, there's no signal here. What? Aunt Hillary? What the hell? Did I just, oh, I'm dead. Wow, she owned me. Okay, well thanks for that. Can I continue? Oh, okay, good. So this, it saved, it auto-saved like five minutes in. Okay, and I have my, I have my missing papers. This house is in pretty bad shape. Okay, maybe before we go in there, I don't think I went to the left up here. Maybe there's something I need. It's a portrait of my grandma. I never had the chance to meet her. Buckets of sadness. 1817 by Sigmund Punch. The lights flickering is driving me nuts. The wires are exposed. Okay, that's important. I can't open it. The handle is missing. Really? Okay. The dim light makes the second floor corridor barely visible. Okay, so it's only that one light that has the wires missing. Aunt Hillary, what happened? Okay, before we click on her, let's let's look around a little bit. I'm not leaving her like this. So you, I think you gotta click on her. Oh no, the tea has an eyeball in it and maggots. What is this, did I drink this earlier? I don't think so, dude. Okay. Huh, so she followed me out of the room. So you stun her with the candlestick. But then you still gotta do something. Oh. Okay. No, this can't be real. That can't be my aunt. I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I'm not staying another minute. Let's go. The door's locked. Is that what he just said? I just clicked through it. Damn, it won't budge. I need to look for another way out of here. Okay. So she's she's in there, right? Okay. Is there any way I can... How do you save? Save game. Oh, okay. So there's an auto save and you can also manually save. What was that? Hello? What the hell is this? I must be having a nightmare. This can't be real. I don't think it can see me, but I better just try to make no noise at all. I believe it can hear just fine. 
<laughs> what kind of Junji Ito bullshit is this? That monster's in the way, I can't reach it. Really? Okay, well, I guess I'll go back then. That's weird. I don't know what to do next, though. Today, Hugo managed to figure out the combination to unlock the secret compartment in the bookshelf. And so was able to gain access to my studio and ruin my latest work. I'm going to punish him for that, but for now, I've changed the combination so they won't be able to get his hands on the key again. But first, I must make a note of the combination before I forget it. Who's this Hugo that Uncle is writing about? So this is a note, oops, that I found in the uh, coat pocket of the coat. So, the combination that he's talking about. Is he talking about this? After dusk and before dawn, painter of portrait of Count Amadeus III of Corkhill, R1B4. What the hell? Okay, so let's go to the living room, I guess. I'm talking about this, right? Uncle's note mentioned something about a secret compartment in this bookcase. I should take a closer look. Okay, sure. Okay, what, what are we dealing with here? Oh my god, each... Okay. I thought each book was, um... <laughs> different. But a couple of them are groups of books. Okay, so Philip Van Damme. That's who painted the painting in the entrance. Oh, the Dusk Murderer Returns. What does it say, Before Dusk? Dawn of the Living Gingerbread Men. So after dawn and before dusk. Okay, so now we also got R1B4. R1B4 is row one, book four. Okay, one of the drawers opened. Okay, so we did it. That was the combination. Okay, let's look inside. There's a key in the drawer! Okay, it's got a little red tassel on it. It's not going to work. Well, I wasn't trying to unlock the hallway, obviously. Oh! The door's open. Where'd it go? I don't know. I'm not going back there. Well, fine then! I guess we won't! Okay, so where, where would you say this goes? Here? The key doesn't fit. Would you say it goes here? Key fits, it's unlocked now. We got a new room. Thank you. What is this? Letter opener. I'll take it. Damn straight we will. Computers for not so young people. Do not fear the mouse. It's not a real rodent. Is that the name of the title? Is that the name of the title? Is that the title of the book? It's a long title. A Game of Chairs. I remember these novels. Eight books, each 1,000 pages long, and it's not finished yet. Ah, parody. A decorative bust. Despite the size, this decorative bust is pretty heavy. Why'd you put it in your pocket? Why would you do that? Encyclopedia of the Human Body. Body parts from the A to the Z. How to Cope with Murder. Books on how to overcome grief from past actions. So it's a, it's a self-help book for murderers. Nice. The Fantastic Tales of Margulatis. Just a fiction novel. Encyclopedia of Woodworks. Uncle used to be a carpenter when he was younger. Okay. Alright, I think that's about it for the books. Pressing the switch does nothing, it must be broken. Just a bunch of old bills. An old typewriter. Are those keys moving by themselves? I think I'm going crazy. Yeah, I think you are. Desk drawer. It's locked. It's locked, huh? Nothing interesting in these drawers. Metal bars are installed in front of the uh, window when they become so paranoid. Okay, so we're in here. What would you say we use the letter opener for? Too fragile to force the drawer open. But, do you remember me wanting to open a drawer in here and needing something that was thin enough? It's open now. A face brush. Hmm, might be able to use this somewhere. A face brush? What would I be able to use the face brush for? Oh, sorry, this one. Face brush? Heh! <laughs> There's no point in doing that. Yeah, I guess so. Do I have to paint the bust? Okay. Um. Ah, the. 
the typewriter just spin by itself. Do it again. It's it, it was weird. It it just it went ding. It was really subtle. That's cool. Wooden box. Okay, what do I I have no idea what to do with the brush. Do I put the decorative bust in the decorative bowl? I don't want to break it. Oh, okay, well. If you don't want to break it, then I guess we'd better not mess with it. There's a crumpled note inside the umbrella stand. All right. February 29th, 2000. I guess it was a leap year in 2000. Wow, that's some attention to detail. Today is a wonderful day. My little baby boy was born. John said there's something wrong with him, and it's because of what we did. But I don't believe him. My little boy is perfect. Because of what we did. John, it's normal to have sex in order to create babies. 1st March 2000. My little Hugo hasn't eaten anything yet. He refuses to breastfeed. I've been reading my mother's books, and they mentioned that in some cases, children born in this way might be a bit different. What do you mean in this way? Did you do like a like a water birth or what'd you do? Today I cut myself and Hugo immediately crawled over to lick the blood off the floor. I'm beginning to understand what the books were talking about. But don't worry, my dear. Mummy will take care of all your needs. Hugh Hugo's crawling at age two days. Can I just point that out? He's two days old and he's crawling. I don't think that's how it works. But maybe it's because it's an unusual baby. Brute force always is the trick. That's it. That's kind of mean. So I got a key with a little angry face on it. All right, let's see. Does the does it go to this? Let's see if the key fits. Yes, it's the right one. Okay. What we got in there? Found a small hammer in there. There's also a screwdriver in the drawer. This will definitely be helpful. Nothing else in here. So we got a hammer and we got a screwdriver. Uh, well, yeah, what else can we brute force while we're here? Oh, the drawers are already open. Nothing in the drawers. No point in doing that. Come on, just bust it open. Why not? We, we busted that thing open, literally. Um, see, there's an exposed wire here. You know, let's go ahead and just smash it with the hammer. I don't want to break it. Okay. This is really... Oh, oh, oh. Hammer on the boards. I should be able to remove the boards with this hammer! Let me in there. What we get? We got the boards and the nails. I managed to remove the boards from the door, and I got some wood and nails in the process. So let's go inside, though! Bucket of paint. A bucket of white paint might be useful later. Ooh, 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 ooh! We got the brush. Now it's a paintbrush, okay. Washing machine, what the hell happened here? Hmm, I can see something below the washing machine. Where? It's too heavy to move by hand. If only I had something that could work as a lever. So boards? There's no point in doing that. You can use boards to, come on. That's basic, dude. If only I had something that could work as a lever. You have wooden boards. Just wedge it underneath. Move it. Come on. You're telling me that that's not going to work? Okay. So I've got a paintbrush, but like, what's the point of the paintbrush? I've got so many items now. Look at this. Maybe we go back here. Do we, do we paint on its face? Makeup will not improve its looks. <laughs> That's cool that there's a, like, an interaction for that. Hang on. Boards. I put the wood into the fireplace. Okay. No, 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 no. That's the second time I've done that. So we've got the wood. We've got firewood. So we can... We can we can smoke them out. I only have one match. I don't think that's enough to set these wooden boards on fire. Ah, uh, yes it is. There was more stuff in the drawer. There are a few blank A4 sheets. I've taken them. They might come in handy. Okay, paper. Could I set the paper on fire? Could I do that? Don't want to burn it. I might find another use for this. Okay, so it specifically tells me not to 
burn the paper. I wonder if we can use it with the typewriter to get a secret message. Let's see if this typewriter still works. Ah! What the hell? It's writing on its own. It seems it's some kind of message. Seems to have stopped typing by now. Okay. Can I get it, please? It's as if someone is trying to send me a message. I put the sheet in the journal. Well, can you please read it? Just read it. No. Dear nephew, you are in great danger. You need to get out of here as soon as possible. I don't have much time. She is about to find me and continue torturing me. A long time ago, your aunt used a protection glyph in order to stop some unnatural beast from entering our world. You will find this behind the wall. The note ends abruptly. It seems as if something suddenly prevented him from writing more. So there's some like spirit world hot pursuit happening right now, I guess. Behind the wall. Now, the only thing I can think of that I can interact with is this right here. This must be the place that Uncle's note was talking about. I'll try to remove the wallpaper. How'd you get up there? How did you do that? Did you stamp on the mantle or up here or what? You daredevil. Aha, this must be the glyph that Uncle talked about in his note. Okay, this must be the glyph. Okay. Can I paint it? This looks important. I don't want to ruin it. Maybe we need to ward the washing machine. <laughs> it's already white and red. Right. Damn. Okay, guys. I've been all over this place, and the only thing I can think of is that I haven't been in this door yet. So there must be something in this room that I haven't acquired yet. It needs a handle though, right? So I'm thinking, what if we try to get no screws here? I should check the other doors. Well, if there's no screws, then how is it attached to the door? There's no point in doing that. What do you mean there's no point in doing that? Maybe use the, okay, but actually, wait, 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 wait. What did it say? I should check the other doors. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> Wait, what if I do it in, from this side? There are no screws on this side. Okay, so maybe on this side then? I've removed the handle from the door. We can still go in? I guess you push, right? Okay, let's uh, let's put the handle here. The handle fits perfectly, cool. Well, hello there. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay. Huh. Oh, I bet we had to paint the glyph. Okay, hang on. We had to paint the glyph. Okay, so here we go. That was cool though, I, I, I'm glad I got that death, I guess. I hope the protection glyph mentioned in Uncle's note really has the power to stop whatever is in this picture. Did you memorize it? I can't believe I managed to replicate the glyph so easily. It felt as if something was guiding my hand. Okay. Neat. That's pretty cool. I still can't believe it, but the protection glyph seems to have worked. All right, let's go into this room. Whatever's in here is gonna help me why is it so dark in here? What was that? The hell is that thing? Looks like you haven't slept in weeks, dude. Bloodshot eyes. Oh, thank you for playing the Cursed Roots preview. The game is currently under development in the full version, featuring more puzzles, horrors, and mysteries will be out in the coming months. Follow us on... Then there's a bunch of links to their social stuff. They got an IndieDB page, a Facebook page, a Twitter page, and a website. Okay, well that was fun. Um, felt like, felt like the puzzles were a little tough, and um, there were some things that I thought weren't conveyed well enough. But I I enjoyed the art style in this game. It's all you know, 
Um, from what I can tell, it's all custom made stuff. There's no assets being used or or anything. At least, at least from what I can tell. You know, I might be wrong. But yeah, this definitely looks like something to look forward to. If you enjoy the style of game, um, yeah, check out the full release, I guess, when it comes out. I'll, I'll be checking it out when it comes out, whenever that may be. Uh, yeah, you can play this for free on Itch.io. I had a lot of leftover items, and that makes me think maybe I missed some puzzles, but it is the preview build, and it did just kind of end abruptly, so maybe I did play all that I could play? I don't know. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.